this is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Delighted to be joined by Dave Caldwell. What a night here in Manchester, Brilliant. Dave. Oh, it was amazing. It, lived, it didn't live up to his expectations. It, it exceeded his expectations. Um, how those two delivered that at this stage of their careers, amazing. What, what a performance, what a great fight. And un unbelievable atmosphere. It was just, just brilliant. That, that's got to be in top five atmospheres in a British oh, arena, hasn't it? Yeah, but it was always going to be, weren't it? You used to, this fight's been talked about for years, for years. So we got it, the atmosphere matched it, and then the fighters exceeded it. I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon for everybody. Listen, Khan went out on his shield. Yeah. You can't ask for anything more. At his age, and after the battles that he's had, to still be able to take the shots that he did, getting hurt, coming back, getting hurt, coming back, not looking for a way out, and going out on his shield like that, that is all due respect to him for that. Massive amount of credit. And, I, and people that don't like him, you've got to give him respect for that. Yeah. That's a perfect way for him to go out, as far as I, I can see. For Kel, I'm over the moon for him. I've known him since he was a little kid. Um, this fight has meant everything to him. So, I, he, he can retire whenever he just chooses to retire, but I would like him to retire now, walk off, because it's never going to get better than this thing. Never. Tonight, it will never top that. Whatever he achieves going forward, it will never get better than this. In the build-up, it was a lot of who was the least damaged would win this fight. Do you think that proved to be the case, or was it something slightly different in there? Um, I think they were both, listen, the boss, you, just, you can't, can't make excuses for either of them. They both, it was a level playing field. They both went in there, past the peak. They both went there, give what they got. And they both gave it everything in there. And the most comfortable one in there was Kel throughout the whole fight. Kel surprised me because his reflexes were very good. I know Khan was throwing bursts of fours and fives, but maybe one was landing. Kel was making him work. He was, he was wasting a lot of energy, throwing a lot of punches. And Kel was making him miss the majority of them. I know you've just touched on it there, Dave, but with a performance like that, is there a danger that Kel might think there's another there great danger. night there? There is a danger because yeah. fighters have egos and people around them want them to, you know, want them to have other fights. But Kel's got good people around him where, where they've been around him from day one. Um, they'll look after his interests. Um, ultimately, I think you need to speak to Dom. He'll know what he's really got left in the tank. The problem is the desire, um, what he put into this camp would he put into another camp because it doesn't mean as much so you don't want to undo all the good work that he's done and, and you know going against a, a Conor Ben or, a, or even a Eubank and, and you get beat because you didn't put the same effort in there and then kind of spoil it. I wouldn't want him to, to fight um, I don't think it's a good fight for him to fight Conor Ben uh, I think it's a great fight for Conor Ben because you look at the stage of careers and desire and things like that and you know it's a kid Kel's looking at a kid that's coming through trying to make a name on him um, same as Eubank. Eubank needs a stellar win on his record as such, but you don't want to give your name to, to these fighters that are chasing you when you don't need to. I can't remember a time in all the time I've been following Boxing Dave where a fight has chased and chased and chased as much as that and then got it. Yeah, no. So, no. like you say, it is a perfect way to go yeah. out, isn't it, yeah, truly? For me, perfect. And with this and the reception. Good, good ending as well with the crowd as well. Um, Fantastic. Considering the amount of needle for years in the build-up, um, the way that it seems to have gone off for the crowd has been brilliant. They've all been brilliant. You know? So, so I'm, it's been it's been a great night throughout, to be honest. And there was respect in the ring at the end, yeah, which was nice to yeah, see, wasn't it? Was it? Good. So listen, that's the sport. The sport's unbelievable. You can hate each other, and you can be, you know, very very personal, and you can fuel so much hate amongst each other's fans, rival fans. But then when all said and done, when you put everything on the line like like those two guys did, and, put, and people see into their heart and see what they're putting in there, then it's all good. And you see them embrace, you see them speaking to each other, so the fans react in the same sort of manner, because if those two are doing it, then what, why are the fans going to have beef with each other, do you know what I mean? So it's nice, it's good. Set so the example. Just a couple more, Dave. Natasha Jonas, it was great yes. to see you. Oh, listen, it's great, great to see um, it's great to see um, Tasha become world champion. Um, shows your perseverance, keep on going. She's had she had tough fights, you know, in, in her attempts before. So it was nice. It was nice to see her crowned as, as world champion. And so with Joe as well, what it, what it meant to him as well. Um, you know, they've, they've come through together. Um, and they've had low nights and they've stuck through it together. And, and it's nice. It's a nice story. It's a good feel, feel good story. Okay, so that's one we managed to catch a couple of minutes with Derek backstage. He said there's one more night in the arena for himself. 
Can you give us any clues? Is he still with you? And no, nothing. I've got nothing to say. All right. Until, until he says what he wants to say, I've got nothing to say. All right, Dave Caldwell. Always a pleasure. Safe journey home. Take care. Thanks, mate.